So here's the pose reader by Marco Giordano, if I pronounce that correctly. Uh, it's a really great idea and it, um, it allows us to get this pose reader stuff happening without the needs for a, a plugin, which is really great. So here's a, a quick setup. You can download it from his uh, page, his Vimeo page, or I'll provide a version of it as well in 2014, but there's a 2013 version on his Vimeo page if you want to grab that as well. So uh, this is the basic setup. Now, it's three locators. It's all pretty easy to see, so I'm just grabbing these three locators. Now, I've just drawn uh, curves between these, but you really don't need those curves. It's just to sort of help us out with this demo. And on this main locator, this is the pose lock. This is the one that's sort of parented to the end of the arm, you can kind of imagine. And this is the target. So this is the target direction that we want the blend shape to kick in. Uh, now you can sort of see how this works in terms of vectors and not Euler rotations. So uh, we've got a cone angle and you've just got to imagine from that point to that point we can have this giant cone that sort of comes out 90 degrees to this guy. So anywhere within that range we're going to start affecting the blend shape all the way when we get to this guy here we're going to have an output of one. So at the moment we're down in this area away from the cone angle this imaginary cone angle of 90 degrees, sorry, of uh, 90 degrees here. And uh, anywhere down here, you can sort of see that our output value is zero. Uh, but as soon as we sort of come up and we sort of start coming close, now I have to do this on multiple angles, start getting closer here. So there's the, there's the angle there, there's the 90 degrees. And we can kind of start to see that as we get closer and closer into that locator, that output number is coming up to one until if we actually snap that together, that output will be exactly one and that will mean that the blend shape has totally been fired. So we can change this number to different values like 180 say, and you can sort of see that uh, 180 degrees, uh, it will start to sort of like switch on even just a little bit here as it sort of approaches one and we'll snap it in again and that. So this is your user defined cone angle. That's uh, that's really handy to, to show you how big you want your cone angle to be. Now I'm just going to bring in uh, some, some morph targets here to sort of show you how this works. So we're just going to pretend that this is our rig and I'm just going to create a really quick blend shape here just by selecting one and the other and then doing a blend shape and I could even delete that guy there and we now have a blend shape happening on this. So simply if we bring up our node editor, so we can go window uh, to the node editor, uh, we just want to connect in the output of this guy into the blend shape of this. So we can select that guy first, the blend shape, and then go edit select node. And we can just sort of show it here. So there's our blend shape node there. And we want to go from the output of this into that. So select both those with the shift click. Or if you're on a Mac, it's Apple. Can I select those two at the moment? There we go, shift click work that time. And we just bring, we, I'm just mapping that by hitting this middle button and I'm just bringing them up out of the way so we can see what's going on. So there's our blend shape and we want the output to just to, to of this locator, the output value to drive the blend shape. So we just wanna like come in here and then just go output and we're gonna bring this in and you'll sort of see that the weight targets uh, happen here in the weight, and that's our cube shape that we've, our blend shape that we've just made. So now when we've got that hooked up, we can sort of see how this is going to work, and that's sort of like switching the blend shape on and off the closer that we get to that. And of course, we can change the cone angle to be really small, uh, something like 45 degrees. So that blend shape will now not switch on until it gets really close. So you've got a lot of control. You could even make 270 degrees if you wanted to do it that way. So, you know, it's switching on down here and then coming up as you can see down here with that blend shape. So the next part is just using this system to, to uh, switch into our rig. Now by default, when you download this file, it's just going to come without these guys. It will just be the three locators. Um, and if you download the 2013 version from, from Michael's site, from sorry, Marco's site, you, you're gonna have a different output. So you're gonna have to find out where the output is actually coming from. I believe it's a fourth locator, but from mine, it will be on this uh, pose lock. Uh, that's the output and the cone angle is there. 
Uh, and uh, I'm just going to show you how to hook this up to um, a real life situation uh, and we'll do that in the next lesson.